Last week, the fans and faves completed their first room, the guest bedroom. They've had to incorporate the innovative light they built in the weekly challenge. They've definitely grown on me. And to give our teams a sporting chance, the judges got a handicap. I'm not going to tell you who lives where. Because it's all about the room. <laughs> the winners of last year's block decided last place was not an option. Winner is... Alicia oh. Lasaga! <laughs> Tied in at second place were the other faves, Brad and Dale. Confidence is down. <laughs> you know, we just can't get that first winner. Alongside fans, Cara and Kyle. Moving forward, our goal is to be more organised. But it was fans, Chantel and Steve's lack of time management... Didn't get the skating boys painted. ..that left them wondering if they could finish the game. Well, it made me freak out a bit that... ..don't know if we can do this. It's only week two of the block, but I've upped the ante big time. I would like your bathroom and laundry and your adjoining terrace. Three areas. And tonight, they'll be feeling the pinch. We can't get any framing done. We can't get any tiling done. We can't get anything done. With three areas to complete in seven days, there can be no room for mistakes. I've got to start. I can never put it in the wrong spot. It's only day one. The wheels might just come off before the first lap is complete. Today was a dead set shocker. Have a fun. <laughs> Nightmare this. <laughs> I'm just ready to break. All I can say, guys, is welcome to the block. Judging now over, the teams are heading back to the block to check out each other's finished rooms. Close that door. You sound annoyed. I'm just exhausted. And even though they've only completed one room so far, the fans are already feeling the full effects of the block. Can you look it up so I don't have to listen to this? Yeah, please. Can you look it up, like? I will. Just so you can chill out for a Whoa, whoa. That way, that way. Do not follow train. Man, you like being a little bossy passenger, don't you? Don't get all annoyed. A good night's sleep is a luxury on the block, but the faves know to keep their eye on the prize at all times. Such a good way to start because... Such a good way to start. I, mean, I just feel like the pressure is off a yeah. little bit. As for Brad and Dale, they're determined to reign over the twins this week. I want to beat them where they're proven winners in bathrooms. Not only does Dale take winning seriously, he's pretty fanatic about his grooming too. Got the twins. And the face. Green hands, that's a brand that looks like growing. Are you for real? Yeah, that's growing fast. Speed up. That was just annoying. With the fans unable to get a blue ribbon last night, they're keen to see what's so special about Faves, Elisa, and Lysandra's bedroom. The twins won the judges over for their creative thinking in their layout and stairway to nowhere. This is great. You actually look really comfortable. It is really comfortable. But will the other blockheads agree? That's, that's cool. It looks, does look a lot better than having just a little table on the floor, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, true. It's kind of cool, but not really maximising space. Like, you've got stairs taking up, like, a good quarter of your bedroom. Like those pendants. Old hands at the game, Elisa and Lysandra know all the right buttons to press with the judges. In particular, Shana, where's my storage blaze? It's a wardrobe. That's cool. That's clever. 
We already packed it full of that crap. We already moved in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what they could have had here? What? If they had like a pull-out one, so that would be a bit more practical. It's cute. I like it. There's a lot of wood, isn't there? It's pretty woody. Probably even more now that we've walked in. <laughs> um. It's not doing that for me. <laughs> I can see why they won. Damn. Competition is stiff. Dying in second place were Carl and Cara, who had a very light and roomy guest bedroom. Oh, wow. Very homely. Yeah, cool. That's nice. That is very homely. She was good at styling. Yeah, I'm not sure. I like these, how they turned out, eh? Yeah, it's good. And they went all out throwing everything at the room, including underfloor heating. I can lie on the floor all day. They're going to be so cozy in here. We've got a draft in ours. Damn, that was a good idea. I like this room. No, this, is, this is really nice. Mirror's a bit low for us. Yeah. It's a good vision of me, of me, our tattoo, though. Well, they're obviously looking for a short buyer. <laughs> Oh. What have you found? It's a massive walk-in robe. I like it. Mm, I think they're competition. Mm -hmm. I like the whole walk-in robe that doesn't have a door. That, you can't see the mess. I like that you have to turn another corner. That's smart. Yeah. Note to self, be smart. <laughs> <laughs> Blockheads love to throw in wow factors. But sometimes too much wow can just be well, too much. For me, this is a little bit of a kitchen sink room. And what I mean by that, it's like it's got everything but the kitchen sink thrown into it. I've got an overwhelming urge to just take something out. I don't agree. I think it's really, really good. You love it, don't you? I think it's spot on. Whoever it is has an eye for detail. They know how to construct a palette. This isn't basic. This is very layered. No, I very reckon cool. all in all, very good. Yeah. This room seems like a, for a first rate room that has soul, mm. doesn't it? Mm. Equal second with Cara and Carl were Brad and Dale. And the judges thought they had the right amount of wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really cool. Wowza. God, I think the boys have done a really good job. For me, this room is very clever because it's so yes. simple and it's all about the art choice. So. This is amazing. Dale's got good taste, eh? Mm. You don't sound so surprised. Their cleverly designed room gave the impression of grandeur. I think the proportions of this room are really good. And look, they've got a walking row. It's big enough to fit the three of us in it. Yeah. yeah. That is so much storage. You can put so much stuff. Look at these drawers. I think they've done really well. I'm a big fan of this room. I like that more than yep. I like K&K's. Mm -hmm. yep. I like the colour choice and it still feels quite grand, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I reckon the, the boys have smashed it. When I compare, like, their room to our room, pretty on par. Yeah, I think the judges in right were scoring us the same. Yeah, so we got equal totally second. Totally different rooms, but pretty even. Very good boys. Yeah, they I killed like it. it. Yeah. Awesome. I think they could have got higher scores, to be honest. Yeah. When drawing up their plans, Steve and Chantel decided to use minimal space for their guest bedroom. They might have trailed into last place, but their small room had a few surprises. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. I like that door. It's heavy, though. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting this either. Okay, it's a cute little space. I think they've done heaps good. I really like their flooring. This colourfully styled room had the judges divided. OK, I'm going to put it out there. I don't like this room. Really? I don't like this room. I love this room. I find it claustrophobic. It, it feels messy. Look at the skirting. My eye keeps going to that skirting that's not painted. Their time management might have cost them, but a clever use of design can get a few more points on the board. That is the best light fitting <laughs> ever. I want to buy that. I want to buy that. <laughs> the light they've made actually goes really well. It does go well. really well with that, doesn't it? Yep. There's a bed here somewhere. These fold in like that. Push. Pull the entire bookshelf towards <laughs> you. 
Ooh. <laughs> okay. If your shelf has fully rotated, you will see a bed. Yes, here it is. Oh, wow. Very clever. It's a cool concept, though. Yeah. Like, if you've got a small office space... So I'm going to pull the top legs down. Yeah. Then pull the bed down. I don't know if I want to be doing it every night to go to bed, though. See, now you're smiling. Well, yes, I am smiling. I am. It's it's clever. I think the judges are a little bit harsh, to be honest. I don't. Compared to uh, the other rooms in our room, it's a lot smaller. And there doesn't seem to be as much work in this room as other rooms. I'm impressed. Yeah. If they're thinking outside the school like that, I think that they could be ones to watch. There's a lot to think about for tomorrow as our blockheads build not one, but three new spaces in a week. Laundry, bathroom and drying terrace. But Steve and Chantel still can't get past the judges' comments. I think my view of the room is changed by the judges' negative comments. But that's because like, I was stoked with the room before we went to the judging. But now I'm so... Mm. I'm glad we didn't get slammed by the judges today. All in all, not a bad start. Pretty happy with our room, so... We're feeling pretty good about the week ahead, I guess. So good to be dry and warm. Did I mention that I'm not sleeping in the tent anymore and that I get to sleep in this beautiful, warm and dry room? It's a perfect night for it because it is blowing a gale and rain is, like, coming in the side of the building, so, um, hopefully I have a good sleep. Look. The machine rolls on. Coming up, is that going to yeah. interrupt your plans today or not? Yeah. Oh, hopefully it will, yeah. Um, one major issue that has the blockheads in a spin. I'm going to be, like... All over the shop. Yeah. Won't work. And later, it's all too much for the Renault rookies. We can't get any framing done. We can't get any tiling done. We can't get anything done. It's a new week on the block. And just so I can see what these blockheads are really made of, they're completing not one room, but three. Bathroom, laundry and drying terrace. A triple challenge. And remember, I've left the layout entirely up to them. They have to decide where the walls go. So they're kind of architects and builders. After a week of sleeping rough... This morning I got pretty chilly, so we snuggled in. It was just for warmth. I feel dirty. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> They've gone from tents to the Taj Mahal. Oh, OK, a guest bedroom. So good to be in bed. I have the best sleep. What time is it? I'm getting a six by alarm has gone off. And by the end of this week, it won't be so awkward going to the bathroom either. Oh, no, I like the open plan living. Yeah, we don't. You see? Right. I slept awesome. Yeah. But I've got so much to clean up. But it starts all over again today. It's pretty crazy. We're really looking forward to getting stuck into this week. Um, all the other couples have come up to us saying, you know, your courtyard's like twice as big as ours, and which is fantastic. Puts the pressure on to do something decent. Got a few ideas, so our builder's coming at seven today. Any good ideas for out the back there? The three rooms, laundry, bathroom and drying terrace, are on level one right next to their completed guest bedroom. Kyle and Cara are planning to have a small enclosed laundry area inside their bathroom, next to their nature-inspired drying terrace. But they're still debating an unusual idea. Do you reckon it's worth putting an outdoor shower in? No. No? No way. What about a little bar or something? A bench? People aren't going to hang out here. They're going to hang out the front one or at the top. Yeah. Doing an outdoor shower in the drying terrace is definitely a risky idea. One the judges will either love or loathe. Wonder what we can do. That water feature is beautiful, and you could have a vertical garden either side. 
Right, let's look into it. Hey, morning. morning. We're winner, chicken dinner. Hey. The twins are determined to keep their crowns as last year's bathroom queens and organise this week's plan of attack with their tradie Sean. And then we need to go through with you the, the intricate plans that we want just so you know what has to be done for the week. Yep. And that, that staircase needs to come out too, which Lasana yeah, and I will fun with that give time. a go. Elisa and Lysandra are mapping out their three areas a little differently. Instead of a full bathroom, it's a small guest powder room and laundry. And out on the drying terrace, they are planning an outdoor shower. And it's too small an area. Yeah, but it's, it's a bit of an awkward area. space, hence why we're putting the shower outside. You know, you have to try and make a statement where you can, even if it's in a small space. So that's our challenge this week. All right, cool. All right. I think that's the most important thing. Let's get this ordered. Steve and Chantel have the biggest space out of the four teams this week. So, with a few good ideas, they should be able to stay out of last place. So, we're going to have to, like, level out the base of this floor. The Renault rookies have decided to keep their bathroom small in their layout, making way for a roomier laundry and a massive drying terrace, but no outdoor shower. Right, I go to Beaumont Viridian Reef, get that all sorted, might do some research. After presenting an unfinished room last week, the Melbourne couple are determined to be super organised. We were like so pumped to get in it, you know, after being delayed last week and knowing how damaging that is. The build is in at seven on the dot. Trying to get a jump start. But with the main entrance lift shaft being built in their area, they're already behind the eight ball. We can't use the space. Somebody's got it in for us somewhere. It's essential for the framework to go up before the end of the day. But it can't be done until the lift shaft is completed. Good morning. Winning. Winning. Losing. Losing. We've got a, um, this is the space we're supposed to be working on this week. The brickies are in all day doing a lift. We've got our builders here to start now. Can't start. Well, it's building. That's what happens. No framework up today means they'll be a day behind. Once you're behind, it's hard to catch up. Maybe we can put a gang of people in everyone else's space for the day, and that'll even it out. So if you could just organise five or six labourers to stand in each this, section. This might be the last time that this happens. I'll get the brick layer to concentrate on this area first, get it over and done with, and you'll have your space. Can we get a hard out on when they're going to be leaving? Yeah, today. <laughs> Yeah, not very hard, a bit soft. It does not feel good to feel like we're in the same position as last week. We've got a builder up there who's going, well, you want me in at 7 a.m., what do you want me to do? The frame really has to be up today for all the trades to be able to work it so it'll be finished by Sunday. Oh. <laughs> uh, the toilet we're going to put over there now, so that's, we're not even looking at that. Oh, you, you changed. No, we changed to here. Brad and Dale hope to be the bathroom kings this week, with their roomy bathroom, hidden laundry up the hall and drying terrace. And just like the other faves, they're thinking outdoor shower. So let's nut out this toilet. I was going to be 200ml off. But they've already encountered major problems. For the bathroom area, core holes need to be drilled for the waste. The other teams have had theirs done. But because the boys discovered structural beams under the floor, they have to change the layout of the room. The shower was over there with a vanity here and a toilet over there. Now we've got a shower over here, toilet here and vanity over there. So it's, you know, it's good fun. They need to remeasure where the core holes will go, allowing for the existing infrastructure. It's very sexy to have your cistern in the wall, but when you're a plumber, it will give you the the wall will come out 45, and then yeah. we, if they, as long as they are past that beam, we can do an S-trap or P-trap, whatever, to fix it. So we just want that down right beside that beam. Yep. You don't want your toilet giving you The measuring should have been done and dusted hours ago. But the boys aren't the only ones having trouble with their core holes. I just wonder why that's right at the back. Yeah, me too. It's supposed to be, like, in the middle there. The middle... How can they put it in the wrong spot? It's yet another setback for Chantel and Steve, as their core holes have been drilled in the wrong spot. Did you have the plans of where they told you to cut things out? I'm only drilling them where they're marked. OK. The cross is actually right here. OK. See, that's right in the wall, so I had to move it back. 
Is it possible just to drill another hole? Or do you have to get direction think... from... You have to ring hole five. This morning we've had bricklayers in our space. We've had holes drilled in the wrong spots. Just Definitely it's insurmountable. What's going on? The plans we submitted to get the holes in the concrete, one of them's been placed in the wrong spot. Uh, we've got a shower going here. And so there was the plans we submitted were to have a hole drilled straight in the middle for the shower. And we've, it's been plonked right in the back. So you're talking about that one? Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, you can see a mar. It's not where it's supposed to be. So the, the, the problem I've got, though, we can't go around drilling substantial holes in concrete slabs because it weakens the slab. Yep. So I'm a bit concerned. So the, the fact is, there's a big hole there now, and yep. it, you know it probably will mess with the structural integrity of the floor if we keep drilling holes. Correct. So we could just put a grill at the back. A strip so drain. Yeah, that could work, couldn't it? Yep. We'll have to do that. Good thinking, Chantel. You're a true blue blockhead when you can turn a negative into a positive. Oh, my God. Meanwhile, Lysandra has decided to throw her weight around, jackhammering the stairs. What are you up to? Trying to take these stairs up, but this thing is so... so Why heavy. Hey, um, have you got the earmuffs? Yeah, yeah. She's not doing it. Oh, no, we'll be taking turns. I'm having a go at this. Wrestle the big boy, eh? We can handle it. After a season on the block, the girls know their way round a power tool. But last year, when they had their hands on a massive tool, like this electric jackhammer, for instance... Oh, my God, like, how are we expected to hold this... They were completely overwhelmed. It's a big, big lot of effort for a little result. And it doesn't look like much has changed. Started, started an the edge. Corner. Started an edge and chip it off. Different to tiles, yeah. So, as luck would have it, <laughs> Dale, in, the master of the big tool, is on hand to show Lysandra how it's done. Dale, the legend. Now it's Lysandra's turn. Which brings us to the game you can play at home. Blockity blocks. So, will Lysandra A, stuff up, B, put on makeup, or C, kick butt? My milkshake brings all the boys. Again, make it vibrate. <laughs> put, oh, let me get the pad of bra on. Can you do it in a bikini? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm way better at that than. Shopping is not Carl's strong point, but for the all important first tile choice for the apartment, Karen needs his opinion. See, that's too. Yeah, but I like that. Doesn't that. that doesn't go with that, though. I don't think. All right, well, let's pick something that does. We do have to be kind of quick, because I do have to... Yeah, I know. ...get back and actually start building stuff. I just want to make the decision, come in, bang, pick that one, pick that one, and go, because I've got heaps to do. I was thinking of using these. Don't do it. Why? I'm going to hate you. That'll be so hard. I reckon I know how this is going to end, Kyle. Do you, do you like that sort of colour? I like that sort of colour, but I don't want to use that sort of tile. You're going to have to mitre that bit, and then this little bit, there's this, it's just so involved. I just don't think there's the time for that sort of scale of work. Whereas you can get an 800 by 400 tile, put one mitre down the edge, and bang, put it on. Just getting straight runs of a big tile like that isn't going to win us the room. Kyle's thinking it in a very practical terms, but if we're using straight run rectangle tiles, there's going to be no wow factor. We'll have 
no chance of winning. Like, yeah, no, I'm nothing. not saying just pick a crappy, any old crappy big tyre. I'm saying pick something nice. But I'm saying let's pick something which we can use in the time frame that we've got as well. I know what's involved in mitering tiles and butting them into a, an edge joining piece. So I've just got a few more samples for oh, you so you can pop them all together. But at the same time, I've got to back away a little bit because Cara's got an eye for the way things are to look. Are you gonna go my way? Yeah, it's going to look pretty cool. Yep, could have told you that ten minutes ago, mate. You see that pencil line on the ground? Yeah. Is that in line with it? Apart from a little jackhammering time with Lysandra, Dale and Brad have spent the last hour or so reworking and remeasuring the layout of their bathroom. That concrete wall, mm -hmm. do we have to come straight up off that or could we recess that back in to that other wall? But there's another thing they haven't considered today. Well, the firewall's going to go along there anyway. Well, on top of that? On top of that. Fire check walls are installed in all apartment buildings to stop the spread of any fire. It'll add an extra 30 millimetres to their wall. And with time fast running out, the boys have to remeasure their layout for a second time. Uh, Is that going to yeah. interrupt your plans today or not? Yeah. Oh, well, hopefully it will, yeah. Um, <laughs> depending on what happens here, it can change everything around pretty quickly. So we've already just changed our layout of our bathroom this morning. Just got to nut it all out quickly because we've got the core old boys here and they're trying to put in our spots for our waste and stuff. Now they're way behind schedule, and if they don't measure up their core hole spots accurately, the whole bathroom will be down the s -band. It's week two of the block, and our blockheads have to complete not one, but three areas. Bathroom, laundry and drying terrace. Time management is key this week to get the rooms completed. Steve and Chantel are unable to get any work done because Keith's blokes are bringing up the lift shaft from their bathroom area. So Chantel is left with one option. The only thing I can do right now is pick tiles. Picking tiles? Okay. It's essential for Chantel to order her tiles today so they arrive in time. I'm just trying to visualise it in my mind, it's kind of difficult. Did you say something about a visualiser? But it's hard to order the right tiles if you don't know the measurements for your space. Sorry, I've got Steve here. Hey, bub. Hey, love. Sorry. Um, just got your measurement for your door. Yep. That's uh, 9.20. Yep. By 2680. OK. That's really weird, though, because the one in the bedroom is 2850. So, would they not be the same height? Um, well... Wow, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, let, me, let me do that again. Sorry, love. Hang on one sec. Luke, can we, can we plaster... Can we tile directly over those bricks? Yeah. Five. Can you just measure that brick wall, please? Yeah, let me have a look. These Renault rookies need to get it together, or it'll be another unfinished room come Sunday. The day is quickly slipping by. And back at the block... Your wall just goes all the way right up, so it's independent, independent from this. This whole thing gets taken away. It's third time unlucky for the boys. This is going to have... Aluminium sheeting, a lucabon. All the way up where that glass is, that'll be the same. The whole thing is going to be a lucabon. Brad and Dale haven't checked out their plans properly. So we'll remove it from the outside. We'll and they've just out. discovered the window door frame is only temporary. That's actually going to be replaced. We're going to be putting in a new black aluminium window across there. Instead of glass windows, a lucabon panels will be installed plus a thick wall of insulation. This will extend the wall out by another 100 mil. Which means the boys now need to readjust their layout plans for the third time today. Say that's the shower. Yeah. If that panel comes out to there, is that going to be... Hanging out. You know what I mean? 
we were budging our shower to be over there. We're going to have it a metre. But now these doors have pretty much set the distance and it's less than 900 into the wall, which is less than a standard size shower. So we've had to change our bathroom plan around. Well, why don't we just do shower in the corner, panelled in, glass panels, towel rail between the dunny and it. That's it. Yeah, I'm just worried it's just going to be stock standard and whether they're just going to hammer us for it, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, Steve is still trying to figure out the exact measurements of their area to give to Chantel. I'm just going to measure to the metal, all right? Yeah, that's fine. I just need a rough... Just I'm trying to just see if we have overlap of tiles. Uh, roughly 530, 540. OK. Uh, hang on one sec. It's all... Um, it's... We think we might have to build a wall in front of this area again. So you just want the size of the door? I can't think about it. Look, I've got to head out. Yeah, any minute. Um, what, what do you need from me now, though? A yeah. decision on what we're doing, because I'm ordering tiles now. Sorry, love, this isn't helping, I know. I know it, you've got to figure it out, but, like... You know, we should we should already know this stuff. It's just all a bit much. Yeah. Back at the block. Everybody get up. It's Elisa's turn to jackhammer the stairs. Oh, this is easy. I'm all over it. Woo! But according to Lissandra, after last year's block, manual labour is not Elisa's strong point. I took on more of the physical stuff and Elisa did more of the shopping. You make it sound like I did no physical work. Did I say that? Did I say that? Did, is that not true? Is it true? Maybe the coordinating. It's that part of the show again where we play Blockity Blocks. So this time round, what will Elisa do? Will Elisa A, break up the stairs, B, break the jackhammer, or C, break for tea? What are you trying to do? You're trying to get that out. What do you think I'm trying to do? I've got to start. Stuck in another one. Now there's a two in there. You've done a good job. <laughs> it's Brad and Dale's carpenter Phil who has come to the rescue of this damsel in distress. Shivery, hey? Shivery. You just don't see enough of that kind of chivalry these days. What a guy. I wouldn't care if it wasn't ours, but you do two of our jackhammers and not both of them are stuck. I'm still to get that one yet. Having fun? Nightmare, this. Brad and Dale are having layout issues in their bathroom. Car, do you know where Kyle went? They misread the plans, and they're not the only ones. Kyle, have you been told that you've got to put a wall in there as well? No. Nah. Inside that frame? Inside that frame? Yeah. No. Nah. If we put a frame out, right, say we come out here with a frame, yeah. 90, oh, 100 mil, whatever, 90 mil, yeah. and, then, and then we've got to return into that, how do you finish against that? No, I'm not. I don't want to do that. He had no idea about the framework having to go in the, inside the room, so I think it completely threw him out as well. I don't know, man. I hope not, because I've worked out, like, my well, spacings well, along here and bought all plumbing and supplies and everything to suit going from here up to finish wall there. Yeah. So if I put another 90 mil here... Or 100 mil there. Plus yeah, 100 mil tile. plus tile. I'm going to be, like... All over the shop. Yeah. Won't work. If Chippy Kyle had hired a builder instead of going it alone, he may not have this problem now. Without any clear measurements from Steve, Chantel has had to order a ton of tiles, and the build-up of stress has left her at breaking point. Oh, yeah, you know. 
I don't know. I'm just like, I'm tired and I can't think. I know. I know. Get through it. We'll get it done, alright? Are you heading back in this way or are you going to race as well? I'm going to race. Okay. I'll just go and have a look at race and see what, what took us to fancy. Um, I'm yeah, just... I find it really difficult. I find it really difficult to think creatively when my, I'm just tired. When I'm, I'm tired and I've got a film crew in my face waiting for me to make a decision, it's just hard. Yeah, I understand. It's mid-afternoon on the first day of bathroom, laundry and drying terrace week. Steve's in a holding pattern because Keith's brickies still haven't completed the lift shaft they started hours ago. We should have had our framing up and started getting this stuff Together going on now. But we can't do it. And it's not just time he's lost today. That's ours. When did that get brought up? Oh, well, I just brought it up with my builder. Oh, you just brought it up, okay. We've had our wood taken, we had wood ordered and sitting in front of my lot to get built. Somebody's taken that and used it for themselves, so we can't even get all our framing up anyway. Unable to be set back anymore, Steve needs to get his hands on some timber quick spark. Can we ask them, can we, can we let a pinch a few bits of their pine, we'll put it back, order it and put it back at the end of the day? Yeah, I reckon so. Don't ask. Don't ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness. When you plan to steal another man's timber on the block, you better choose your victim carefully. Kyle has used an old chippy's trick for tracking his timber. What Kyle's done, he simply marked his blue. So that means any, any timber with got blue marks, it's his. So what Steve's going to have to do is pick a colour, and that way he'll know it's his timber. There's no hiding this burglar blunder, but Steve's too stressed out to care. I can tell that Steve's a bit fresh. Um, he's going to have a bit of trouble. This is a very hard build, and I think you need to be experienced to do this job. Carl might have a lot more experience than Steve, but he still failed to get the right dimensions for his bathroom off the plans. How it's affected me is we've done a set out for our waste holes in the slab, so it means this wall's been pushed over, which pushes everything over. It's this toilet here, it's going to have a wall like sitting right next to it, so it's going to feel really pokey and it's not going to be centred in between a nib wall here and this other wall here, so... That sounds like some squishy squatting if someone wants to use the loop. The thing I'm thinking, right? <laughs> Just Lucky for Kyle, there's a man on site who's always in the poo. Now, I'm, I reckon I'm probably at least average size. Yeah. You reckon that's all right? Mm. We just don't like our chances. No, I don't, I don't really like the chances either. No. That small size space might be fine for a taut tush, but Carl needs to find a one size fits all solution and fast. Get the plumber in, I'll see it. He might even be able to just cut it out of that hole. Yeah, he might just be able to chip it. Mm. Um, yeah. It feels like I've started off a little bit behind, so now I've got to wait for the plumber and, you know, see how far we can actually move stuff and the tolerances that we've got. It's still my head in at the moment. I'm at cracking point. <laughs> I'm just ready to break. Just need to surf. It's only two hours till tools down and Steve's chippies have barely gotten up any framework. We can't do much. Dude, today I don't know what else to do. We are just constantly getting put behind, put behind. Like, the bricklayers haven't even started. Keith's brickies for the lift shaft are nowhere in sight, adding to Steve's frustration. What's going on, mate? Where, Where are these bricklayers? There you go, mate. We, we can't get the bricks up. And now for the final round of your favourite game, Blockity Blocks. So, with time running out, what will Steve do? Will Steve A, stay in this frozen position, 
B, hug Keith, or C, hate on Keith. We can't get any framing done. We can't get any tiling done. We can't get anything done. We're not going to finish this. Get these guys off my site now. Get them off because we can't get our frame up. I'll start doing it myself. I will do it right now. Mate, they haven't started working. I can't really do anything today. On this schedule, we can't finish by, by Sunday. It's just, there's no, logistically, it doesn't work. These need to be off. The frame needs to be up. At the moment, right? They've already loaded up a couple of hundred bricks. I will unload it. They've got to bring up 400 bricks. They're eating right now. They have to eat to survive, so that's what they're doing. Everyone else is starting to build in their site. We can't even get into our site. We can't, tomorrow, we can't work in it at all. It's just um, full on. All I can say, guys, is welcome to the block. Nearing the end of day one for bathroom, laundry and drying terrace week. And it's going to be tough competition with Elisa and Lissandra being crowned bathroom queens last oh. year. Hey, hello. How are you going? Good, Good to see you. you. Yeah. We did pretty well with our bathrooms last year and it's really important for Elisa and I to keep going with those high standards. Especially the space that we've got, it's fairly small space. To create wow factor in that space, it's gonna be quite hard. Yeah. So we've got lots to talk about. Lots to do. After we have a cinnamon donut. After, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Good. Because Kyle and Kara can't do any more on the block, they're also at Reese to get their hands on the essentials. Hello. Oh, all right. <laughs> So hungry. You know that little thing? I think we're yeah. going to get that. But... Yeah, the twins are over there and they're the queens of the bathrooms, apparently. So I think there is a little bit of pressure this week. I'm not listening. <laughs> <laughs> so I really, really think that that bowl would look good in pink. We've heard the twins mention <laughs> they may be putting an outdoor shower in. That's their call, and if they want to run with it, like it's, you know, everyone's going to put something different up and everyone's got different ideas. Oh, come it's out. outside. Sometimes they tend to seize up. We had such a small space to work with for our powder room and our laundry, so Kalesa came up with the idea of moving the shower outdoors in the drying area. I just think that it needs to be a little bit more significant, significant in like that the space, one. like the first one. I know the twins are going to be putting up a pretty nice bathroom. It gives you more motivation to really think hard and really be clever about what you do. I like that. Is that metal? Yes, it's pressed metal. I'm going 100% for a win this week, yeah. Done getting it. <laughs> it's been a very long day one with plenty of setbacks. I'll suss it out. For Steve and Chantel, the lift shaft is finally completed and the framework will be up before knockoff. Yeah, looks, like, looks like they're going all right. Yeah, well, they're going oh. very well. Oh, Look at that. that. All that bloody whinge in this morning. Look, you've already got Winging. it all up. Whinging. That was a positive attitude, Keith. Oh, Going, with Going with a flow. Going with a flow. Plumber, you put the plumber for Wednesday. Yep. yep. When I used to watch what was happening on the block, I used to think, ah, oh, those guys are having a fun day, just kicking back, you know. Not like that. It's uh, really up and down. You never quite know how you're going to come out at the end of the day. And uh, you, you really have to plan as much as possible. Plaster is booked. Have you booked it before Wednesday? No. Can't book it yet? No. Can't do it. through them. And no one has planned as much as Brad and Dale today, with their bathroom layout changing three times. Put some through like that. Today was a dead set shocker. Well, All right, well, we'll cut some in there. The bathroom's the first room that Lara and I won on our series, but she's not here, so we probably won't win this one. Hello. Hello. And although the bathroom queens are on track, they're still feeling the pressure. It's actually quite a big week. It's a pretty unusable space that we have to try and make as usable as possible. Ooh, so that's the challenge. Yeah. And it's fairly intricate. Yeah. But manageable. When the washer dryer is sticking out to here, every little Car bit... and Carl can do no more until they refigure the layout of the bathroom with their plumber. 
We should be right with everything except, yeah, the toilet hole, so... I got my plumber's coming over tonight just to have a look at a few things, and, yeah, if he comes up with a better idea, we'll, we'll run with it. That's 900 because we're using that for our shower screen as well. Yeah, but our shower's set back, remember? Sunday's room reveal. I've never turned a bathroom around in seven days before, so it's going to be a stretch. It's so much to do this week. Pressure is on to get ahead. And I thought I'd drop in to gauge the mood. That's what I love to see, hey, mate. Scotty. The big fella into it, loading up the barra. There's a spare shovel in there if you want to... Uh... No, mate, look, you know, I wouldn't want to take anything away from you. I, don't, I wouldn't want you to say that we won this week because Scotty helped us. <laughs> I wouldn't shovel want to... some sand. Yeah, that, well, mate, that's I'll tell it, you what, that's you, know, you, you, you should see me shovel sand. <laughs> I'm a genius at it. <laughs> you heard it here first. You are doing oh. an outstanding job. How long have you been on this for? Well, we started in the morning. Did you? And we had a little break. She's you're a goer, aren't Getting you? There. You're a goer. Yeah, we have to. That's why these girls here are winners. <laughs> because they do stuff like this. Have to, Scotty. You're a champion. Yeah. Good on you. Oh, thanks, Scotty. How you going, buddy? <laughs> yeah, good. Hey, Scotty. How are you? Good. So, how have you woken up this morning, mate, with the, the judges' comments and that? Are you all right? Our uh, spirits are good. We didn't mind the feedback from the judges, so... Yeah, yeah we'll, just, we'll just take it on board with us and just, you know, improve and maybe yeah. a little bit less styling or something. Yeah. But, yeah, I've tried, tried the Sabo to get another set of hands with us just to knock through the carpentry stuff, but it didn't happen. Just got to get this waterproofing in. Yeah, you got to try and get it waterproof, too. Waterproof. Quick, smart. Yeah. So then you can move forward. That's the biggest battle. Yeah. You'll be right. Keep going, champion. Cheers, mate. Ah, oh, well, hello. Hello. Now, you guys did run out of time last week, didn't you? Yes, did we you? did. We ran out of time. That's a lesson learnt from last week to this week. Time management. I know you've lost a bit of time this morning, but you need to pick that time up now yep. somewhere else along the line. That's right. Time management. That's right. That's your goal Six this down. week. And last week, remember I said learning curve. All right? You've done that. It's a fresh week this week. Yeah. Yep. And you're going to win. Yeah, we are. You're going to win. Yeah. Yeah. See you, guys. Bye, Scotty. Game on. It's Game on. Yeah, we're going to win. They're all under control. Time to get back to my HQ, because Dale has asked me for a favour. Yes? Ah. <laughs> Scotty, how are you? <laughs> oh, who's that? <laughs> It's me, mate. How you going? Oh, Dale, how are you, mate? You can never be too careful in these parts, no. you see. I'll send <laughs> out the cardboard cutout first to see who it is. Yeah. What do you want, mate? Mate, I just want to whip up a little desk-type thing. Mate, come good, in, good buddy. Desk. Thank you. I love to help a bloke out in the workshop. That'll get it done. Four at 7.50. Got him. Put that there. Put a bit of ply on the front. I was thinking if the desk itself could almost hug me. Wow, that's the go. Well, thanks, Scotty. Uh, no worries, mate. We, we build a desk in ten minutes. That's the way to do it. That's what happens in this workshop. See you, brother. You're you, right. Yeah. Okay. Good. See you, buddy. One rough desk. <laughs> Coming up. Okay. Come in, lasagna. Dale shenanigans <laughs> cause a ruckus. <laughs> He's creepy. But he's a funny creep. He's pretty funny, but... It's been a stressful first day of bathroom, laundry and drying terrace week. And to ease the tension, Dale has come up with a late-breaking idea. Daily, Daily News. Oh, Daily News. I get it now. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Blocker Vision. Tonight we have an exclusive. There are rumours that Steve looks like Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Daily News sucked. Rubbish. It was absolute rubbish. rubbish. It's obviously an amateur. He's come down from the bush trying to make it in the big city. He comes down. Oh, has he dead set even read an auto key before? I don't think so. Hi, oh, hey, Steve. Oh. Yeah, good, good. Should I call you Hugh? <laughs> what are you more comfortable with? 
Steve, Steve's pretty good. Steve, great. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. That's all from Steve. <laughs> they always good, though. That was, was good. Yeah, very quick-witted. Yeah. Sandra Sully didn't get to where she was by wearing <laughs> jackets and having crap hair. No, <laughs> she prepared, she worked hard, and I don't think that blowing from the bush done that. Next, Cara is going to talk to us about the most important thing that comes to women. Washing your hair whilst renovating. Cara, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Have a seat. Wow, it really is quite amazing. <laughs> that day was creepy. He's creepy. <laughs> but he's a funny creep. He's pretty funny, but. So, Cara, how long has it been since you've washed your hair whilst renovating? It's been four days. OK, that's disgusting. <laughs> OK, come in, lasagna. <laughs> Lasagna. <laughs> the lasagna like segment. Sit down. So the lasagna. <laughs> Cara washed her hair today. When did you last wash yours? Can't you feel Brad? I did it today. <laughs> <laughs> and she called me Brad. It's amazing. We're so similar. I can see how that would happen. Um, Chantal, uh, this week, what sort of things are you trying to wow Neil Whitaker with in your uh, laundry slash bathroom? We're going for more, um, what's that word again? Claustrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy comes down with unmessy hair, comes down and thinks he can just blow into the big city and read the news, and it just doesn't happen like that. You need to do your time. And for a special little break, we've got Brad with the weather. I'll come in. This is me. Brad. <laughs> this is Brad with the awkward weather. And how is it in Townsville, Brad? Us, Townsville's hot and muggy. Newcastle, God's country. Awesome. 33 degrees, sunny and awesome. Oyen, the world's hottest place. Oyen, dry, dusty, heaps of pies and heaps of flies. Oyen? Where even is Oyen? Comes blowing down from Oyen just because you've got dust and pies doesn't mean you can bloody read the news. Back to you, Dalio. You've made it again, Brad. Thank you for that. OK, so today we found out an exclusive. Hang on, excuse me, am I done? Yes, thank okay, you. Thank you. you. Please leave. Good job, Brad. Thank you. Uh, thanks. We're going to have to look for a new weatherman because that was rubbish. Be careful who you tread on on the way up because you don't know who you're going to meet on the way down. We'll be right back after this nighttime break uh, with more news tomorrow night. Thank you. Tomorrow night, the Renault workout. All I do is flex. I don't need a read. Need to scream. It's got the girls carrying in the mix. Yeah, we're going to draw Superman. Is a machine. And getting the job done means working for the competition. Help to be helped. <laughs> At the end of the day, the old favourites oh, are sitting pretty. No way! Oh my gosh, oh. that's so cool! But the newbies make a classic rookie error. I've got a problem here. This screw hasn't worked. There's a whole lot's going to have to come up. Yeah. 